explore how the angle between the two plane mirrors affects the number of images formed. In this activity, we will identify the relationship between the number of images formed and the angle between the two mirrors. We will also use the gathered data to derive a formula for determining the number of images formed from two mirrors which are kept at a certain angle. The materials to be used are the following. Protractor, two plane mirrors, and 25 centavo coin. The procedure of this activity are the following. First, you have to mark angles of 90 degrees, 60 degrees, 45 degrees, and 30 degrees using a protractor in a folder. Next, you have to place two plane mirrors at an angle of 90 degrees and place the 25 centavo coin between the mirrors. Count the number of images born. And then, the next one is you are going to vary the angles using the 60 degrees, 45 degrees, and 30 degrees. And then, count again the number of images born for each angle.
Conversely, con uh, air free, angle increases the number of image form will decrease. Should the mirrors be arranged such that an infinite number of images will be formed or seen? The mirror should be placed parallel facing each other to see an infinite number of images. That's all for